Ben Malal, thanks for joining me in the video. And today I wanted to talk about manual bidding. Yes, I've noticed that people are moving away from manual bidding because it's too complicated for them and they just stick to automatic bidding, which is a big no-no because there's nothing, you, there's literally a um, so much that you can do with automatic bidding and manual bidding is really a whole new world, uh, as you can say. And if you want to go really advanced into this shit, then you need to know this. You need to understand how it works. And basically, I, I can talk about manual bidding for 10 hours straight and not even uh, not even talk about half of it. But uh, the thing is, me, myself, I'm not, I don't even call myself an advanced, uh, extremely advanced marketer with a manual bidding system. I've actually only been using it for five, six months. And I'll eventually release a more advanced, comprehensive guide. But for now, I wanted to talk about the basics and what you can do today to, first of all, make more money with your business. And just understand more how, what is this manual bidding system and how Facebook really works. Because uh, like I said, manual bidding is really, really cool. And it's just a whole new world. It goes really, really deep. And if you've mastered Facebook ads and you haven't done manual bidding, if you've never like experienced manual bidding and there's like a whole new segment for you to learn which is pretty cool I, I look at it as a kind of an experience so first of all you have to understand how Facebook works and um, like what what happens when you manual bid what happens when you when you bid automatic which I think most of you um, that are watching this video probably do automatic bidding now Facebook is an auction system Facebook advertising is an auction system if you if you don't know that yet and when you're releasing an ad, when you're um, sending a daily budget, you're sending an ad to an audience, you're competing with other advertisers that are targeting your same audience, basically the same people, and eventually some sort of uh, your ad or their ad wins, and then that's what gets to be on their newsfeed or desktop right column or whatever you're doing. And the things that come into play here, uh, who wins the auction, there's a few things. There's the um, relevance score, how relevant your ad is, to the to the audience, uh, how engaged the audience is, uh, which it goes hand in hand with the relevance score. Add text, like add picture text. The more text that you have, the um, the the more Facebook is going to be harsh with you. So you want to minimize as much text as possible in the ad image. I'm not talking about the copy, and the bid. The bid plays a big role in who's going to win the auction. Okay. So it's a it's a basically a bidding system. You bid money, and when it's automatic, Facebook bids for you. Okay, Facebook does the bidding for you. And the goal when you're doing automatic bidding, the goal for it is to basically spend your daily budget fully. Okay, Facebook doesn't give a shit if it finds your buyers or not. It doesn't find your buyers. If you give it a certain daily budget, if it's ten bucks or fifty bucks or a hundred bucks or a thousand dollars, it doesn't matter. You give that daily budget, you tell Facebook automatic uh, automatic bid, it will waste all that money. Okay, maybe if you're t bidding, re if you have a very high budget, uh, like over a few hundreds of dollars, then you might not spend it. But most of the time, it will spend the money because you you gave them, uh, you told Facebook to just find your buyers and decide the bid for you. With manual bidding, what happens is that you decide how much an action is worth for you. How much are you willing to spend? For that action so if it's a purchase then you decide what's the maximum or the average that you want to spend to get a purchase on that ad so for example let's say um, you're releasing a hundred dollar budget ad and you're doing an automatic bid okay, you're doing an automatic bid and you're, it's a hundred dollar ad so Facebook is gonna basically spend that a hundred dollars and try to find as much buyers as possible which is cool okay that's really really cool but what if it only finds eight buyers? What if it only finds five buyers? If it finds five buyers, then you're spending $20 per purchase. But if you give it a manual bid of, for example, um, $7 or $5, Facebook will only spend your money when it finds those buyers. Okay, you understand? So that's, that's basically the reason that when you're actually doing a very high budget like 100 200 300 dollars you can go to sleep peacefully knowing that your uh, Facebook ad won't just spend all the money without finding buyers as long as you give it the bid that is okay with you so if for me I'm selling a product and 
Um, if I get buyers for ten dollars per purchase, I make a good profit. If I may, if if I spend more than fifty dollars per purchase, I lose money. So I'll, I'll set the bid for ten dollars, and then I know that Facebook won't spend my money unless it finds buyers for ten dollars. So that's the reason, actually, that you want to do manual bid on high budgets. Now, when you're doing low budgets, five dollar, five dollar budgets, ten dollar budgets, then there's no reason to manual bid. But when you're getting higher, like over forty bucks per day, fifty bucks per day budget on an ad set, manual bidding is the way to go. Other than that, automatic bidding, automatic, um, automatic bidding, automatically puts you under people that bid higher. Okay, so if somebody bids higher than you, then you lose the auction, even if you automatic bid. So there's a lot, a lot of pros um, to manual bidding. That's why, especially if uh, if you're already making money with Facebook ads and you want to scale harder and you want to scale larger, this is actually how you can get to the very, very high numbers using manual bidding. Because uh, you can, I, I've seen people actually make um, over twenty thousand dollars revenue a day using automatic bidding. But the thing is, they could have helped helped their ad spend if they used manual bidding strategies. Because when you manual bid on an ad set, your ad set won't spend money unless it finds the buyers or clickers or adds to cart or basically the action that you wanna optimize for. So I'll tell you my basic strategy, what I, what I do and what's been working for me and the logic um, behind it. So first of all, every time I go over uh, 50 bucks, budget per day, I will manual bid. Now, I will usually manual bid at the beginning for the highest amount possible for Facebook. So you see that suggested bid at the bottom where it says $30 and then it has a range, $23 to $40. That's basically how much your suggested bid is. Now it's funny because Facebook will usually give that suggested bid to any ad that you do. Um, I noticed that even if you're making like $3 profit, it will tell you that that's the suggested bid. Um, but basically what you want to do, what I do at least, is I bid the highest amount. I'll give it a $40 bid. Okay, that's it's $5 now. I didn't, I didn't, uh, when I took the picture, I didn't change it. But I'll give it a $40 bid on average. Okay, average actually works like maximum. So it will usually not go over the number that you put there, like the cost per action. Now the thing is, you might be thinking, why, Ben, why would you put $40 um, why would you put $40 bid? Are you willing to pay $40 to get a purchase? No, I'm not willing to get $40 for a purchase. If, I, if, I, uh, if I'm spending $40 to get a purchase, I'm gonna be seriously in debt and I'm gonna, lose, I'm gonna lose a ton of money. But the reason I actually do that is to show Facebook that I'm a very, very high bidder and my actions are worth a lot for me. So what, how Facebook looks at it in their perspective is that they see, oh, okay, this guy is willing to spend that much money, let's give him really good traffic. And then what happens is that I usually get much, much, of course, much less cost per purchase. Even for a product that I, I'm making like four bucks profit on, I'll put $40 per bid. Um, that way Facebook gives me really, really good traffic and I basically win the auction every time against other competitors. So that usually really reduces my, my cost per purchase, cost per action, as you may call it. Now. Sometimes that will work. I let it run for at least two days because that, that's the amount of time for it really to optimize. So usually that works um, and it gives me really good cost per purchase and makes me really profitable. Sometimes it doesn't work and of course sometimes, uh, not sometimes but all the time, after a while the ad starts to die out and after two weeks sometimes, after three months sometimes, the ad starts to lose money. So when the ad doesn't work anymore on the high bid, I will reduce the bid to the minimum that I'm willing to pay. Okay, you understand? I'm, I'll listen to the minimum that I'm willing to pay per purchase. So let's just give a random example here. I'm selling a necklace and I'm selling this necklace for 20 bucks. I'm buying it for $5. So I'm making 50 bucks uh, profit on this necklace. So I'll put a bid of five bucks. I want to make ten dollars profit out of it because the cost of the necklace is five dollars. If I pay five dollars per purchase on my ad, then the total cost of ads plus product will be ten dollars. I'm selling the ad, the necklace for twenty bucks, so that leaves me with ten dollars purchase, uh, ten dollars profit. 
So I'll do that. Now what that tells Facebook is that they will not spend any money unless they find me $5 uh, buyers. Now sometimes Facebook will spend the money, I've noticed it, but most of the time it won't. So I'll do that, I'll let it run for um, $5 and then I'll give it 24 hours. Now two things will happen. One, either it won't spend any money, either Facebook will, the, the ad won't run at all, which means that Facebook has failed to find buyers in that price. And second of all, it, uh, it, it will either find the buyers for that price, maybe many, which is a good thing, if it finds me many buyers for $5 cool, um, or it finds a bit. So it will, let's say, spend like 20 bucks a day instead of 50, the daily budget is 50 and it finds four buyers. So let's say it spends like 20 bucks a day. So that's the scenarios. Now what usually happens uh, in this case is that if it's not spending any money, I'll increase the bid by $1. Because I'll tell Facebook, okay, Facebook, you're not finding me buyers for five bucks, here's another dollar. Find me buyers for six dollars. And then for another 24 hours, I see if Facebook can find me those buyers. If still he doesn't find me those buyers, or he doesn't find me a, um, enough, then I'll give Facebook another dollar. There you go, here's another dollar. Give me those buyers. Now, depending on the audience size will be my budget for one million, it will be between fifty dollars to a hundred dollars budget. Okay, more than that, sometimes two hundred and even more, because the budget plays a significant role here. Because um, that that as well will show Facebook that you're willing to spend a lot of money. So you got to put that into consideration as well. Manual bidding will usually work the best for you. The higher the budget, um, not the bid, the budget. Okay, remember, I'm, when I say budget, I mean budget. When I say bid, I mean I, I mean bid. A lot of people get that confused sometimes. So I'll add an, um, back to what I was talking about before. I'll add another dollar to see if Facebook can find me the buyers. Eventually I'll find this sweet spot. Okay, this maybe it'll be at $8, $9, whatever. I'll find the sweet spot that I'm satisfied with. Facebook is giving me nice buyers, I'm making good profit. Cool, I'll keep that running. And, um, and then I'm actually at a point where I'm making money again from the ad, even though I stopped making money when the bid was high. So then again, it will start to decline. And then I will either increase, um, I will increase the bid to basically show Facebook that I'm willing to put more money until I get to a point where I'm spending too much money for, for purchase. And then I'm starting to lose. So what happens in that case is I either close the ad or I just um, basically, I don't know if you guys do this, but uh, what I usually do is I just like let it run again I take change the ad, the ad, uh, ad itself, the ad image, and I refer, how do you how do you say this? It's like called ad saturation, but that's like that's something else. Um, basically, just lets the people see a new ad. So that's that that's what I do to keep an ad fresh. But uh, most of the time, I will just close the ad if I get to that point where um, oh shit, I have low battery. Okay, I'm finishing this video in a second anyway. Um, so, where was I? Yeah, so basically, um, once I hit that sweet spot and Facebook starts to get me purchases, a good purchases, and then it will eventually decline again. And then again, I change the bid, increase it, um, or decrease it depending on what, uh, Facebook, uh, what, what Facebook gives me. And eventually I'll close the ad because that's it, it's done. So the steps, again, I'm telling you the steps that I do from the beginning to the end. Duplicate, sorry, not duplicate, but high, high budget ad, high manual bid. I'm showing Facebook that I'm a high spender. I'm willing to spend a lot of money for Facebook to give me those actions. Facebook sees that, gives me nice quality traffic because of that makes me win the auctions. Eventually, um, I will, the audience will be saturated and my ad will decline. I will decrease the bid to what I'm actually willing to pay. See if Facebook gives me those buyers. Um, if not, that means I'm bidding too low. I'll increase the bid by $1, $2.50, depending on your situation. I'll see if that works. If not, again, I'll increase again until I get that sweet spot where I'm happy with the result that Facebook are giving me. And that's basically it, guys. That's the basics of manual bidding. And only using these strategies, you can already achieve really, really good results with manual bidding. Of course, there's much more, much, much more to go uh, to go through, like um, bidding on, on link clicks, on a conversion ad, and bidding strategies, 
that uh, finding that sweet spot, um, changing every day to find that sweet spot, even if you see that you are already making money. There's a lot of advanced techniques that will go into that in a future video. But for now, this can actually really, really help you. If you're only doing automatic and you're not uh, doing high budget ads, then you should definitely um, start working with manual bid because this is this is actually the future and this is this is where Facebook ads really comes into play. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.